Hi, I'm Jamie Arnold. I live in Cottage Grove, Wisconsin. Um, had a hip resurfacing May 19th of 2014. With regards to that, I've always been an athletic individual. Uh, I grew up playing athletics. Uh, high school played very high level sports, basketball, football, baseball, soccer, you name it. About seven years ago, I decided to get into triathloning. And initially it was the short distance triathloning and then eventually it moved up in 2011 to the over distance triathloning. And that's when I started to feel a discomfort. In my, in my hip. I could barely walk. I ran a half marathon, got finished with it, ran my best time, woke up the next day and could barely move my leg. Talked to a good, my good friend who was a PT. He highly recommended Dr. Rogerson, went online, read about him. Um, the guy's just, you know, obviously extremely well qualified and amazing. Um, we're pretty fortunate to have him here. I set an appointment to see him, sent me in to get the MRI. Got in the machine, got the results back, walked into his office, and I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, eh, it's just going to be a, uh, a, you know, stitch up my labrum, I'm good to go, I'm going to still be able to do Ironman. Looks at it and he goes, hmm. You know, I'm sitting there, I said, well, is that a good hmm or a bad hmm? And he goes, well, that's not what I expected. And he's like, yeah. He goes, you, you either need a hip replacement or a hip resurfacing. And so that, that was when I started investigating the hip resurfacing. As I got to understand this a little bit more, I got to see the, you know, the, different, the, very, the, the, the very distinct differences between a hip resurface and a hip replacement. And it started to intrigue me. And the one thing that intrigued me about it was the fact that I could go back and play at a level of athletics that I was accustomed to. So the day of my surgery was, was pretty, pretty scary. But I have to say, coming into this hospital, uh, I, I've never been to Stoughton Hospital, so I did, and I don't like hospitals to begin with, so I, I didn't know really what to expect. When I first came in, uh, and I wish I could remember everybody's name, but she was just awesome. You know, she sat me down, and we just, we just chit-chatted, you know, and then I got, uh, then I met the uh, anesthesiologist, and he was great. Do you need anything? Do you want me to explain anything to you? And then he went through the process of everything. And then I saw Dr. Rogerson come in. He sat and talked to me for a bit. So I felt <clears throat> very confident going into the, the procedure. And I'm the most, probably one of the more stubborn people. So I was trying to get out of bed from the moment that I could. And they were, they were just so, you know, just, just so good. And, and they just kind of compromised. They would come in every like 15 to 20 minutes and just make sure everything was good and to make sure I was feeling okay. Uh, they were good with my family. The girls were, my girls came in and they were just completely freaked out. They'd never seen me like that. And so they would take my girls, take them on tours around the hospital. Um, so they were very good with my family. And that, that means a lot to me also. So I, I just, I can't say enough. From, from you know, the point in time when I um, was admitted to the, uh, the occupational therapist that came in, to the therapist that came in, you do realize that it's kind of a, a life changer. You know, and Stoughton Hospital has a good reputation and, and really I can't say anything. I, you know, it's just, it was a very, po as, as positive as this experience could be, this was, I think, at the top for me.